We've got to talk about Scotty Barnes. So the Toronto Raptors haven't been good. They've got a mediocre record and they just haven't been able to score the basketball efficiently. But there's been one bright spark in this team that I've been incredibly impressed with. Scotty Barnes was Rookie of the Year two years ago. Not last year, the year before last year. So in 2021 to 2022, we saw the true capabilities of Scotty Barnes. We saw he had an ability to switch blade in a lineup phenomenally. He could play defense. He could adequately shoot the ball and his playmaking for his size was above average. But this year, we've seen he can lead the Toronto Raptors. While they're not great at the moment, he has been truly really, really good. He's averaging 23 points, 10 rebounds and six assists. He's been running points some of the times. With Fred Van Vliet going, it allows him to have a more open game, play better. And so, although there's mediocrity within the Toronto Raptors, he can adequately play to his standard. And I've been really, really impressed. One thing I've really liked about him has been his tenacity towards going to the basket. He's shot 50% from the field. He's shot 40% from three and 75% from the free throw line. And I've just been really impressed at the efficiency and the intelligence behind the play style behind Scotty Barnes. And I really think he can truly be the savior of the six. That's a good, the savior of the six, call him that. That's the nickname I came up with. <coughs> On the one side, we talked about a really good player on a not so good team. Let's talk about a bad player on a good team. The New York Knicks have been as good as you'd expect them to be. They're a playoff team, obviously. They have a good lineup, looking at Emmanuel quickly, looking at Jalen Brunson, looking at Mitch Robinson hasn't played too much, but looking at that type of player, you know, there's a lot of good players within that team. Quentin Grimes, you know what I mean? Now, while Jalen Brunson has been really good, his partner, all-star, all-NBA player Julius Randle has been terrible. He's shooting like 27% on the field, I think, something like that. And it's really, really bad. Considering he was all-NBA last year, this is terrible. And I think maybe it's time to part ways with the idea of Julius Randle. Package him in a deal. Somehow go and get Joel Embiid. I don't know how. Or just somehow do it. I know a lot of Knicks fans also want Donovan Mitchell. I just think it's a really small backcourt. But just do what you need to do. Get Joel Embiid and you can be good. So, or maybe even a swap deal with Scotty Barnes. Who knows what's possible? But you've got one player in a really mediocre team that needs to blow it up. That is playing really good. And you've got another player who's in a really pretty good team playing really, really bad. Who knows what's going to happen?